Did you know that 73% of women journalists experience some form of online violence? And that one out of five women journalists who are attacked online are also physically attacked in connection with that online attack? This is the so-called spillover effect. And as a result, one out of three women journalists considers leaving the profession. And that's not just bad for them, it's also bad for you. Why? We need a diverse representation of people bringing us the news. And currently, women journalists are both underrepresented and being pushed out of the profession because of the online violence they experience while doing their job. Almost all journalists are subject to online violence. However, women journalists are not only disproportionately targeted by online violence, but the violence they experience is gender-based. That means it's sexist and misogynistic in nature. Let me show you some examples. Where a man would receive something like this, a woman is more likely to receive something like this. And in general, the more prominent in public, the more online abuse. Maria Ressa receives about 90 hate messages per hour. And Rana Ayoub received 26,000 hate tweets in one single day last year. Online violence impacts women on different levels. There's the impact on someone's mental health, often leading to feelings of shame, stress, insomnia, and isolation. Then there's the impact on someone's work. In order to protect themselves, some women stop posting information online, while others refrain from covering certain topics completely. And lastly, there's the effect on press freedom. With these important voices leaving the field, there's less diversity in the news. This is a repetitive and vicious cycle that we need to break. We have to start treating online gender-based violence as both a press freedom issue and a gender equality issue and everyone can do something to stop it. We need newsrooms to better protect and support their female staff. We need social media platforms to foster greater accountability. We need policymakers to implement better and stronger regulation. And lastly, we need your solidarity. Be an ally to women journalists and speak up. Stand up for the right to reliable and inclusive information and share this video.